Last time we introduced the concept of Z effective. The nuclear charge an electron really, and I'll explain what really means, experiences. And we'll understand the concept of Z effective for charge distributions which are spherical. What do I mean by charge distribution that's spherical? Here is a nucleus, and I have some electrons here, and they are in the charge distribution spread equally around everywhere around the circle, so I have charge distributions here. And then I have another electron, which is also forming some kind of spherical charge, but it's outside, so this electron is these electrons are outside and also spherically attracted. And in the case where all the charges are in spheres, and remember, atoms are spheres, then uh, they obey charge distributions, the forces, the electrostatic forces that electrons act on each other obeys something called Gauss's law. So this is Gauss's law for spherical charge distributions. And it has two parts. One, let's look at it from the point of view of the red electron. From red electron viewpoint, All electrons, all charge distributions closer to nucleus act as if, act with the same forces as if they were located at the nucleus. And I'll tell you the second part of Gauss's law in a second, but let's just see what the consequences are. Let's look at lithium. So, lithium. Lithium is has three electrons, Two electrons are in 1s, and the third electron is in 2s. So, we have exactly this, this distribution. We've got the nucleus with three protons. We have two 1s electrons in a spherical distribution on the interior and outside I have that one electron in the 2s. From the point of view of 2s then it will feel the three protons and the two 1s electrons as if they're located where? Read what it says on top. The 1s electrons are interior as if they are at the nucleus. So they feel three protons and two electrons as if they were at the nucleus. And that means the 2s electron, the z effective for the 2s electron, is not. 3, which is the number of protons, but those two 1s electrons are having the same force as if they were at the nucleus, that's minus 2. And we get an approximate value. 
of z effective of 1. And the real z effective for lithium 2s is 1.3. But z for lithium is 3. And so while lithium has 3 protons and a z of 3, the effective nuclear charge that the lithium 2s electron feel, feels is attenuated because the 1s electrons are acting as if, from the point of view of forces, as if they are at the nucleus.